Hey, what's going on, guys? This is uh, Brooklyn Steve. This is my first podcast, but uh, I don't usually do these things, but I wanted to talk about this whole um, Nintendo NX and the backlash is getting. But what I really want to talk about is the whole E3 controversy. You know, we all know that they're only showing Zelda, but I have a feeling that there's an NX connection to this. Now, hear me out. The fact that they're only showing Zelda is interesting, but I kind of have a feeling they're going to show Zelda playable using an NX controller. I know that sounds a little crazy, but I just have a strong feeling that that's what they're going to be presenting out there. Um, They wouldn't do, they wouldn't, they wouldn't make this big of a mistake the way they're doing this right now. It's it's not like Nintendo's a smart company. They make bad decisions. Yes, they've made terrible decisions. And I'm going to touch up on one decision uh, that they made a couple years ago as a matter of fact probably over 15 years ago uh but they know that they're in the shithole right now and um what i want to know is uh what can they possibly do to fix that now my guess is they're gonna show zelda playable using wii u but there's also going to be an nx version there graphically will it be the same no but i think they're gonna give people a taste of nx using the controller that's going to spark more interest and it might actually reach farther abroad than just having it playable on the Wii U. If they present it on the Wii U, then I'm going to say, wow, Nintendo, this is pretty damn lazy. But I think they're going to show it on the NX. I think that's the hook. I think that's the, the bait hook and sinker that they're going to do. I don't think they're going to just have a Wii U version and a Wii U only. I, I, I can't see Nintendo doing that. You know. But then again, I've been completely proven wrong from Nintendo in the past. Uh, a la 2008 E3 press conference. But I do think that an uh, NX version of Zelda will be uh, playable. They will have a Wii U as well as a NX version so people can look at the NX. I mean, once that gets out and the word of mouth is, you know, there's an NX version, people are going to run to E3's booth or whatever, I mean, uh, Nintendo's booth or whatever they're going to be uh, presenting it as. Um, but the my thoughts on it, I kind of feel like well, for me, this, the, the whole, like, I've been a Nintendo fan, not a fanboy. Like, we've all been growing up in the 80s and the early 90s. But I kind of feel like the, the Nintendo kind of dropped the ball a couple years ago when uh, they had the GameCube coming out. And Rare decided not to uh, make exclusive games for Nintendo when they went to Microsoft. And I think at the time, Nintendo didn't care. But over the years, they realized, man, that hurt us. Uh that just completely put a dent. and Because you have to understand, you know, Nintendo doesn't have gaps between the developments of their gaming uh, developments. You know, you have the Marios and you have the Mario Karts and, you know, uh, what's another game? Smash and the typical games. But throughout those gaps where they're not releasing games, Rare was always there to pick up the slack. Rare had Jet Force Gemini, Banjo. They had Perfect Dark. They had uh, Conquerors. They had so much games. I mean, they pretty much were, was, you could say, the, the second Nintendo. I mean, they were, there were rumors of Miyamoto visiting Rare Studios. And actually, you know, I, I'm, allegedly, I'm not speaking this, you know, I'm not uh, 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 assuming, uh, accusing Miyamoto. But there were stories of him being a little jealous of what Rare was doing. Visually, I mean, they were just on par or probably superb superb to nintendo so i think they regretted not buying rare as an exclusive uh uh developer back in the days and i i 15 20 years ago or how many years ago it was i i knew that this was going to be a problem and and that's when i i you know the gamecube to be honest was the last nintendo console i bought i i knew this was going to happen i foresaw this years ago and 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 now it's like it was actually sad to see e3 uh, the year that they showed uh, uh, Yoshi's uh, the the Yoshi game with the the fabric I can't remember the name if you guys can uh, put in the comments remind me apologize for that but that year they showed uh, nothing but uh, Nintendo games only I mean you had one game I think it was the um, the uh, the octopus game I forgot what the hell that shit was called but it it was kind of sad to see like Nintendo just got no support no support at all and. I don't think they're going to get support for this NX system. I think they have to play their cards right. I think they need to make a Mario Galaxy 3, a real one, an actual 3D Mario game for this for this console. They they can't they can't be on some lazy shit this time. They really have to step their foot forward and make the games that the fans really 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 want. Um 
yeah, man, it's 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 actually crazy to see what's going on with this NX. But uh, you know, I, like I said, I think the rare the the rare situation a few years ago, it caught it caught it bit them in the ass. Years later, it bit them in the ass. They realized, damn, we we made a mistake. We messed up. Uh, we got to get our shit together. Get your shit together, Nintendo. Um, but I think with the Nintendo NX and the Zelda connection being there and at it being playable. I think it'll draw the lines. I think the lines will show up. I mean, E3, let's be honest, is a dying breed anyway. I mean, most conventions are dying breeds anyway. Everybody's having their own exclusive material and their own ex in, in their own exclusive rights. You know, there's the internet, there's YouTube. You know, you could put all that stuff on YouTube. I mean, the fact that people enjoy sitting down and watching other people play video games, well, what's to say that people wouldn't just enjoy sitting down and watching somebody from Nintendo's Treehouse play Zelda on the NX? I really don't think they're going to show it on the Wii U. I'd be shocked if they showed it on the Wii U. Just to say, uh, yeah, it's coming out on the Wii U. NX is coming soon. I think that would be crazy. But, you know, I, I could be wrong. I mean, Nintendo, we've all scratched our heads at Nintendo's decisions uh, a couple of times. So I wouldn't be surprised. But then I wouldn't be shocked if they showed NX either. Um, I'm hoping that Zelda will be playable on the NX. Uh, we know it's going to be on the NX, but I'm talking about for E3. Um, and that's that's my thoughts on this whole NX uh, Nintendo situation. Like, they have nothing else to, to give for the system. I mean, the system was a flop. I think it only sold 13 million copies, uh, I mean, units worldwide. That's bad. I mean, that's really, really, really bad. And, you know, I'm sure this was, the tablet was pretty expensive. I mean, for God's sake, they didn't even release a second tablet, uh, tablet controller uh, individually packaged without a console. Like, you had to buy a console to get the game controller and there was never an option to buy it separately it was like bundled together that's the the, the system so it's going to be interesting to see what happens at e3 um i'm not looking forward to this e3 i don't think there's going to be a spectacular e3 at all um like i said i'm i'm i mess with sony i mean sony is the one i mean sony was a system that i i got a few years ago and i just never looked back at nintendo ever since i mean i just once the rare because Rare was Nintendo's, you could say, safety net. If Nintendo was slacking, Rare picked it up. And once Rare left, I already knew it was over for Nintendo. It was going to take a while. They had a lot of success with the Wii, but it just it just wasn't, wasn't connecting with me. I'm, I'm sorry. I just couldn't do it anymore. But I'm still going to ride for Nintendo. I mean, if Nintendo comes out and the NX has Mario Galaxy 3 as a launch, a Wave Race as a launch, Metroid's coming out later on that year, and some... Heavy hitter titles, and it's affordable. I might dish out and see what's up, but Nintendo has to keep that continuity going. One thing about Nintendo is that they just slack after a while. You know, it's like they will have a strong showing, but then it's like they just—it's like it's almost as if Nintendo gets bored with their own material, their own their own uh, their own systems. It's like they say, hey, "We're bored. Let's move on to something else." But uh, yeah, man, I I think they're gonna show the NX along with Zelda as a playable, one-to-one -one playable. I don't think they're just going to have a Wii U controller out there because if people walk past that booth and it's all white with Wii U uh, all over it, I think it, it, you know, it's just might as well just pack it up Nintendo and start again next year. So uh, that's my thoughts. Um, please like, subscribe, and uh, leave a comment. Uh, let me know it's good, and I'm out of here, y'all. Later.